Hey YouTube, how you guys doing tonight? Kevin here coming at you with another video. Okay, so here we have an ignition coil. Just a regular, uh, what do you call it there, yeah, 6 volt ignition coil. Same one used on the KEs, the KDs, the, uh, all of our Japanese bikes. This one actually came off of a Honda, but they're all the same coil. And if you ever have one that, um, the end screws onto the end of it. Okay, it's one of these type of ends right here. This right here, when you put this on and you do your testing, you're going to get an incorrect reading. Because this right here is a resistor. So I always pop that off. And to pop it off, you just unscrew it. It screws right on the end and you can unscrew it the same way. So you get your little shield here. It's on there pretty nicely tight. Hold on one second. Okay. And then inside, you know, if you can see it not right there, yep, there's a screw. And it literally just screws onto the end of it. So I'll show you that in a second. Alright, so I just screw it on real quick. Just screw it on. And you just grab it and unscrew it off. Okay. I always do that. So, all right, so the first test is the primary wire. This wire right here, the little guy. Real simple to do. Same rule, we're gonna put this on to 200. And you want it under five ohms. Just real simple to do. So I'm gonna see if I can, uh, how do I do this? Okay, I'm just gonna hold you like that and we'll go, we'll put a ground on there. Just hook up to the ground. And we'll take the red one. It doesn't matter which way you go on this either. Okay, yeah, we don't have a good ground. Hold on a second. I don't have a good ground. Hold on. You can always tell when you have a bad ground. Hold on one second. for a second all right so you want under five ohms on this wire here i mean about 3.3 .3. so this is good if you move it around it'll go you gotta make sure you get a good connection because if you don't you'll create your own high resistance so if, we, if i cleaned up the coil i could probably get a little better of a uh I've actually had it down to 1.9, um, so I know it's a ground issue, but this is actually a good, um, see right there, I just moved it, so anyway, 3.0, I'll take that, that's actually a good, a good connection, if this was reading 5 or higher on the ohms, if it was reading 5 or higher on the ohms, it would be bad coil, okay, your next one, we're going to put this up to 2K. This is the secondary coil. So this is all, the secondary coil has a lot more smaller twist to it. Okay. So we're not going to use this wire right here. We're going to go from the ground, which is the body. See all this corrosion on here? Okay. It looks fairly clean, but it's really not. It's got like corrosion stuff on it. And that right there makes it harder. To do so, we got this one on the 2k, and we're gonna measure this. This is gonna be up all way over five, so you're looking at like nine or ten. Okay, so this is this is nine. Okay, this is good. If it was like 16, 17, then we have a problem, but nine is good. I would say I would I would not let that go up over maybe 11. Okay, now I wanted to show you guys the part that messes people up. People think they have a bad coil because they go to test it with this on. Remember I told you this is resistance? Now watch this. I'm going to show you this again. Ready? Watch. This is 9. Okay, that's good. 9 is good on that. And the reason why 9 is good, and I'm on the 200 setting, not uh, the 200K, not the 200. Okay. The reason why this is good is because this is a secondary coil. It's a higher... Higher resistance coil. It's got a lot more windings to it. 
So I'm going to pause you. I'm going to screw that back on. I want to show you guys the difference. Remember, remember this number. 9.1. Okay. All right. So now I got the cap screwed back onto it. Remember I told you that's resistance right there. Now watch the number when I put this onto it now. 13.6. I would say 15, 16 is okay. After that, it's it's too high a resistance. So 13.6, that's good. Um, that's acceptable. And it's, it's 9.1 without it. So that's how you would test your ignition coil. I have not seen any of these bad. Three or four ohms on this wire is common. Five or more, bad. And if you can test this one, it's going to be on the 200 setting. See how I got high resistance right there? It's because I got a bad ground right now. There we go. I just moved it. See if I can get it a little better. Probably not. Yep, see, I got a bad ground. Right there. Yep, there we go. That's acceptable. 3.6, I'm happy with that. That's on the two, that's on the 200 setting, by the way. That's acceptable. It's like I said, if, if that wire right there was five or over, coils junk. I haven't seen one. If you guys have one, I'd be willing to trade you a good coil for your bad one because I have not seen one. Okay? So, these six volt coils are very, very bulletproof. But remember, this is this is good... That's even if even at 4.0 is still good. It's still under five. But the better you ground, actually that right there could be a lot of your problems, guys. If you have a bad ground, a rusted, corroded ground, that right there would do it. Um, because I know for a fact that if your ground is dirty, it's going to create high resistance. See, as I'm moving the ground, it moves, it goes, it gets cleaner. Let's see if I can do this a little differently. Oh, yeah. I just had the four. You see that? Three. Yeah. So that's about as best the ground as I'm going to get. It says 3.5, 3.4. That's acceptable. That's a good, that is a good number. This is a good coil. So, this one right here on the end, once again, is going to be in the nines. Just unscrew that. Oh, I'll put that on 2K. 200K. Nine point one ten. Like I said, is acceptable. Um, without your cap, make sure you take the cap off. That's going to give you your accurate coil reading. If you have the cap on, that's going to change. Different caps wear differently. This is the newest style cap where the tip of the spark plug comes off. If you have the old style where it pops onto the cap, it might be a different reading. I don't know what those are. But I do know that I use the NGK ones. And um, it basically almost doubles it. So keep that in mind when you're testing your coil. Pop that off. Because if you look in your book and it's telling you what the number should be, it's without the cap. Okay, because the different caps give you different readings. And then, uh, like I said, check this right here. This is 5 ohms or higher on the 200 setting. Okay, you're using 200 twice. There's 200 and then there's 200K. 200, 200 on this wire right here, less than 5 ohms. On this one right here, 9, 10 ohms, uh, 9, 10K. That's what you should be reading about. Okay. So anyway guys, I hopefully that helps you with your coils. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support. If you guys have any questions or any comments, by all means, please send them my way. And remember, this boot right here is an insulator boot. And you should always have one on your on your uh, boot. Because what happens is, you could lose spark out the side of it. This right here just keeps it all, all inside there. Okay. Alright guys, and we're going to do another uh, video... Um, this wire right here is really stiff. 
and a lot of people don't know you can change it. So we're going to be getting into that as well. So anyway guys, have a good night and I will talk to you later.